Andrew, you have views regarding art versus entertainment. Why don't you elaborate on them for us? Yes. Who is Nathan Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. Seriously. Um, yeah, I think there's a distinct difference between art and entertainment. Uh, and, uh, uh, I mean, entertainment really just has to, has to do with pleasing, you know, many people, the masses, what have you. Uh, whereas art, you know, I think this comes from a deeper place. And uh, it also involves a degree of, uh, obviously, introspection and, and bringing out uh, whatever that creative spark you know, is, whether it's something of beauty, whether it's a message or a particular imagery or all that. I think that probably early on in an artist's career, you kind of need to define what camp you're going to live in. I mean, are you an artist? Are you an entertainer? And I'm not saying that those things don't cross over, you know, occasionally. Uh, or actually quite often, but I think a lot of folks, especially, let's say they've had some degree of success. Well, you kind of get trapped by that. You know, you kind of get caught in, in, it's almost like a drug, you know, drug a lot of times being money. Uh, and people expect more of the same. And as you evolve as an artist, you risk losing your audience. I'm thinking about that with different artists I've worked with. Uh, you know, but we introduce new material, and you you risk alienating your your, your fan base. That's probably why I put quite a few things out under uh, different names or different things. And like say, Andrew Reid's stuff will probably never be very uh, popular because it's it's totally an introspective. Whatever, but some of the band stuff that's a little more entertainment or, or whatever, you know, you can kind of get away with doing different creative things without kind of messing up your, your image. But yeah, there, there's definitely a, a difference. And I'm not trying to put a value judgment either on whether one's superior or over the other. Both are probably necessary in order to reach people. Uh, you do have to be, a, a, you know, a, a degree of. A, interest or attraction or something like that in order to make uh, the ideas accessible. But when we're going to our, uh, the artistic place, uh, that, that usually is a place of authenticity um, coming from really almost your, your own beingness, regardless of the opinions nor the commercial you know, appeal of, of whatever you're doing. I think that's, a, that's about that.